Hey, Shalom, Mizro. Uh, first off, I just want to say Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace and blessings to you, sincere Akim that's pushing the word in sincerity and truth. And for the few sisters, you know, that watch and believe, uh, Shalom to you as well. Uh, this video is just more of just a spirit booster, you know, just exhortation through the spirit. Uh, just to build brothers uh, faith and, and hope just to continue on in this thing uh, we at the end of, of the so-called year you know Esau so-called year whatever the case may be and this is a very demonic time you know just for men in the faith you know we're just seeing all manner of wickedness and paganism and idolatry running rampant and we have to continue you know in our lot of integrity of you know pushing the word first and foremost and just trying to work on offending less and being upright men more and more to the best of our ability while these people seemingly you know well why these people around us man in the world they continue to just uh, go on this free fall of just uh, wickedness and doing whatever the hell they want to do but uh, the things that we're doing from brothers going out on the highways and the byways preaching the word you know forsaking things in the world you know making sacrifices for this truth man basically uh, we're not doing this in vain you know we know this but sometimes it has to be expressed just to reinforce brother spirits you know cuz we gonna all go through those different uh, roller coaster levels of emotions in this thing man you know as things happen as the most high reveals more to us how you know different things you know within your spirit and character are being uh, purged or are you going through that purification process man you know you're gonna feel uh, highs and you're gonna feel lows but the point is is to just keep your hand to the plow so to speak man keep working because help is on the way man at the end of the day that's the that, that's what we should be hopeful for that our big brother Yahweh Shah he is on the way you know I'm gonna go ahead and go right into a scripture this is uh. Hebrews chapter 6 and I'll start at verse 10 it says for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love so right there off the bat right there you know hey that's clear to the cut man the most high is not unrighteous man we 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 worship a true living power of righteousness you know and he's not gonna forget even though you always got to keep in mind like it tells you and uh, I believe second peter the third chapter that we we uh worship a long suffering power you know and you got to understand that a day to us is like a thousand years or a day to the most high rather is a thousand years to us so you know we're on a different level of time than the way mo the most high views things so even though we've been going through all these different captivities and even in the point that we in now for brothers starting with our apostles and the men you know through the order that i've been out teaching for years man you know, it seemed like this thing can't come fast enough. You know, the destruction of Great Babylon, which is America, according to the scriptures and the prophecies, you know, and then just the establishment of the kingdom of heaven, man, that salvation from Yahweh Shah. You know, it seems like that can't come fast enough. But we got to remember that the Most High, he's not going to forget our work and our labor of love, like I just read. You know, brothers putting in the work, making their bodies a living sacrifice, preaching the word, you know, instant in season and out of season when it's cold when it's hot you know having to forsake things in this world having to be demonized scrutinized scoffed and mocked at you know amongst these people who are without you know the most high is not going to forget these things man and this is a labor of love you know whether brothers are out on the highways and the byways feeding the flock or whether you're putting up these shows man these epistles you know via the internet you know this is a labor of love man you know it says, I'm going to keep reading. It says, which ye have showed towards his name and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So that word minister, it basically means to serve. And the saints are the uh, hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. You are the saints are the elect of the nation of Israel. So brothers that come into this knowledge, man, we have a solemn duty to feed, to minister unto the, the hopeful elect out there, man, you know. Because that's kind of well, the topic I, I guess I want to hit on my lesson, man. You know, brothers, just hold fast. Just keep going to work. Keep grinding, man. Help's on the way. Meaning help from the, 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 the other elect laborers that haven't been sealed into the foe. And then ultimately 
from our big bro, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior, you know. So we just got to continue to serve this word, man, you know, to the elect, that they'll be sealed up, man, so we can get the hell out of here. You know, that's that's part of the vibration that's going to move things, man, the preaching of the word. It's power in preaching, man. Spiritual power is being shown, man, in the, in the Lord's word going out, man. You know, that's a tidal wave vibration, man, that's turning this whole thing upside down, man. And then the hope is also we seeing the prophecies come to pass. So that should make brothers, you know, even though you go through certain uh, bouts of depression or whatever the case may be, demons are, are constantly attacking brothers. This should always reinvigorate your spirit, man, that, hey, hey, the most high, he's going to make do on all of those promises that he made to our forefathers. You know what I'm saying? Help is on the way. We just got to continue grinding it out, man. You know? I'm going to hit another scripture here. <clears throat> this is in, uh, just bear with me one moment. This is in Galatians uh, chapter 6, and I'll start at verse 9. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 8. Galatians chapter 6, verse 8, it says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall reap of the flesh. So like, I'm going to read it again. I want to read it right. Galatians 6 and 8, it says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. So basically, what you basically put in your mind and your spirit and your labor into, man, you know, that's going to determine what end of the scale you're going to weigh out on when everything all plays out, when everybody has to appear before that judgment seat, you know? So if you sow into the flesh, meaning, you know, the things with, within your body that make you feel good, you know what I'm saying? Just all, just manner of just pleasures on this side that are, are fulfilling to the flesh. If you basically giving in to those things, man, you know, hey, that's that's corruption. But at the same time, on the flip of the, of the, of the coin, if you're basically uh, sowing to the spirit, meaning spiritual things, storing up uh, treasure in heaven, meaning preaching the word, trying to grow in the understanding, you know, better of the word and in the overall intent and will and, and instruction of the most high, trying to basically uh, go from glory to glory in the spirit. If you sow to those things, you shall reap life everlasting, man, in the kingdom. You know, so this is all more hope. You know, for brothers to just keep pressing on, man, you could just feel it. We we that much more closer. So the harder we grind, man, you know, it's like you on a, on a work. If you're on a shift, you know, you're working a 12, 14 hour day, man. And those last two hours, man, they may be some of the toughest uh, hours in the whole shift. But if you just go on ahead and just say, hey, you know, what I'm saying we just going to go and get this done. You know, before you look up, man, you'll be out of there, man. You'll be on to enjoy the things that you want to enjoy so that we got to liken that into this this fight man in this in this walk of faith man in this labor of love man you know preaching unto the saints you know we're, we're right at the last end so we just got to push that much harder man you know and continue to cry and pray to the most high you know for strength and hey man before you know it we'll be out of here man we can already see man uh america man as you know it is circling the drain man the money is not backed by anything. All of these different nations, you know what I'm saying? They're they're uh, basically getting away from the uh, the dollar and going to uh, these cryptocurrencies, you know what I'm saying? So it, that's just one level right there, uh, economics. And then you got uh, in the Valley of Yahweh Shapat over there in the Middle East, man. You got all of these different nations, man, brewing up World War Three. You know, you got all manner of just uh, just lasciviousness unrighteous laws being passed homosexuals transgenders they're basically taking over this place man so it's everything's just pollution man the music the the quality of, of life as you know it air water food just everything is just complete death man so the reason why we're sowing uh, is to reap something better man you know what i'm saying that's at the end of the day you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta know what you're working towards man you know, and, and it's and, and it's work the work basically, man. Well, the the promise, the the inheritance that we was promised. You know, but here's the point. Uh, this is Galatians six and nine. It says, "And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not." So we shouldn't get weary in well doing. Of course, we in the flesh, man. Brothers gonna get tired. You gonna have lazy demons. You know what I'm saying? But you got to fight that, man. You got to fight, you know what I'm saying, those tendencies to get into that lack, lackadaisical mode and being idle, man. 
as the time draws that much more closer, man, brothers should try to the best of their ability be more hands-on, man. Really reaping in the spirit, man. You know, however form it may be, putting up a show, going out on the highways and byways, uh, speaking, you know what I'm saying? Breaking bread with brothers, building brothers up, you know, in the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Just reading and studying, praying, you know, whatever perspective uh, level that the Most High allows for you to reach spiritually, man, that's, that's what we need to be taking those opportunities to do, man. Because everything's that much more close. There's prophecies coming to pass, like I'm making the point. You know, all these different things going on in the world as we know it, man. So we can see, man, if you, if you, if the Most High has imparted any type of wisdom in you, you can see that we're that much more closer, man. But I'm going to read this and I wanted to look up a word here. This is Galatians 6 and 9. It says, And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So I wanted to look up that word weary in the blue letter here. It's the Strong's G1573. And it says in the Greek, I don't have my speaker on right now to let the dude pronounce it, but I'll try to pronounce it as best as I can. This is the word uh, weary in the Greek. It's uh, ekakio. Ekakio. It says to be utterly spiritless. Wow. And that's one of the main definitions right there. When I seen that, I was like, wow, to be utterly spiritless. It says to be wearied out, exhausted. So, I, like I was saying, man, you know, uh, brothers at certain points, man, because this is, you know, this is a, this is a huge, this is a, a huge calling. This is a, a huge vocation or profession that we've been called to do. So sometimes brothers may get, you know, physically tired, you know, and have ailments that kind of make things dip more difficult. But, hey, to be utterly spiritless, man, hey, you better pray. Hey, matter of fact, I'm going to get this real quick. Because it says that word weary means to be utterly spiritless, man. I'm going to read a prayer for, from uh, King David, or at least part of it. Uh, this is Psalms, the 51st chapter. And this whole chapter is great. It's a great prayer by uh, King David. But I'm going to just read. Uh, I'm going to get right to the point. Uh, this is Psalms 51 and 10. It says, Create in me a clean heart, O power. And renew a right spirit within me. So that's what the, the that's the type of spirit that you should be in, man. So that you don't uh, basically be utterly spiritless, man. That you don't become weary. You gotta pray to the Most High, man, that He's gonna renew a right spirit within you daily, man. Like the Scripture says, though the uh, outward man uh, perish, the the inner man is renewed uh, daily. Basically, I'm not saying it verbatim. But you got to pray that the Most High renews your strength, man, and renews a right spirit within you to continue in this thing, man. Verse 11, it says, cast me not away from thy presence and take not and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. So that's what we should be praying for daily, that the Most High doesn't take his Holy Spirit away from us, therefore leaving you utterly spiritless or weary. Because that's one of the definitions of that word. Re weary is to be utterly spiritless. So brothers, man. Hey, Satan is at work, man. You know, it's all types of devices, you know, that are being set out to try to trap brothers up and remove brothers out the faith. But I know at the end of the day, the elect, man, they not going uh they not going to grow weary, man. The most high is going to give them whatever strength that they need to 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 go to the end of this thing. But the brothers that's, you know, pushing in sincerity, man, you better pray that the most high don't take that spirit from you, man, to where you'll become weary. It says, um, yeah, that's the that's the main point that I want to get on that one, to be utterly spiritless for that word uh, weary here in uh, Galatians uh, 6 and 9. And I'll just read that, that scripture again. This is Galatians 6 and 9. It says, and let us and let us not be weary in well doing. And what's the well doing, man? It starts off with the preaching of the word, man. Being a, being a brother, you know what I'm saying? Being available, you know what I'm saying? Uh, being willing to help the body, you know what I'm saying? Those are all things of well doing. And the scriptures tells you in Peter's, I believe, that uh, charity, it, covered, uh, it covers a multitude of sins, man. So we're not supposed to be weary. We're not supposed to grow utterly spiritless, man, in well doing. Especially when it comes to preaching this word, man. 
it says for in due season we shall reap if we faint not so if we keep doing what we gonna do if or if rather if we keep doing what we're supposed to do the most high he gonna fulfill his end of the bargain please believe you know the most high is a power that he should not lie and you got to truly believe that he is you know what i'm saying uh i wanted to get another one here <laughs> Yeah, it's just going more into that, the importance of just continuing to grind, you know, because help is on the way, man, even though it seems, you know, like a definitely like an uphill battle, man, the most high, he's moving, man, moves are being made, you know, in the spirit, if you're spiritual, you can see it, man, so we just got to pray that the most high just renews our strength to continue on, man, you know, oh, okay, there, I found it. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, and I'll, I'll start at, uh, I'll get right to the point. I'll start at verse 10. It says, for even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should eat, neither should he eat. I'm going to read it again. 2 uh, Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. And, you know, people always say this, man, you don't grind, you don't shine. Hey, the scripture says it first, man. It says, for even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. So that's that's clear as, as, as to the point as, as it, it could possibly be, man. If you don't work, you don't eat. No excuses, man. Who cares if you're tired, man? Who cares about all of these excuses that guys make not to continue to do the work, man? Guys that are growing faint, who are getting weary. You know what I'm saying? Who are becoming utterly spiritless in the in the truth, man. You know? You don't work, you don't eat, man. Like, hey. Like, you want to basically just slide into the kingdom without having to put in no toil or labor. You know what I'm saying? The Most High is not dealing with that. So that's what should be on brother's mind at all time, you know, as, as everything is getting closer. You know, hey, we, we want the kingdom so bad, but hey, there's going to have to be a huge uh, uh, fulfillment on our part, you know what I'm saying, that we're going to have to come through on in order for the most high to give us everything, man, you know, you got you to gotta put in the work, man, you know, that's, that's just simple to the point, but the hope for brothers that's been putting in work, man, and, you know, I know brothers be getting tired and, you know, your spirit, you know, you be having spiritual lows, so to speak, hey, man, pick it up, man, we got so much more to look forward to. Help is on the way, man. Other men are going to start coming into this thing, man. Other elect men, you know. I'm going to read this real quick. This is uh, St. Matthew chapter 9, verse 37. It says, Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the labors are few. It says, Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. So, yes. Man, it's plenty of work to do, man. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. And we know that the Most High, he's only dealing with a small, you know, uh, uh, election of men, a few choice men, you know, to basically do a, the, 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 uh, a huge grunt job, man, of basically tearing down this stronghold of lies on this earth and then being raised up as governors to, to usher in the kingdom of heaven, you know. But... Even for the men that's been out right now, during the time that we're in right now, man, hey, we're going to have more laborers coming into the faith, man, because the election has not been sealed yet, man, you know? But you got to pray to the Lord that he sends forth more fruit or more laborers into the harvest. And the main way that more laborers are going to come into the harvest is somebody got to already be out there working, man, you know? So, hey, man, you got to keep grinding, man. Help us on the way, brothers, you know? We're going to be all right, man. The Lord got us, man. You know? Just keep fighting it out, man. You know? Just keep fighting, man. We we, 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 we hella close to this thing, man. Uh, I'm going to get this scripture right here. Uh, this is in Philippians chapter 3. And I'll just start at verse 13. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended... But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. So, hey, man, right now we haven't apprehended, man. We haven't apprehended salvation. 
because apprehend means to basically take a hold to basically you know you could look it up but we haven't taken hold to salvation we haven't taken hold to a kingdom we're still in captivity right now you know so that's why we got to keep grinding that's why we got to keep pushing man you know it says but this one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before so that's what you got to be in the mindset to do as well we uh creatures which are made subject to vanity so we're gonna go off in this flesh but the scripture says offend less so don't worry about don't get your mind and spirit wrapped up in shit that happened you know in the past to where it's making you weary or utterly spiritless man you know you got to pray to, for the most high for strength of mind man to, to, to pray to the most high give you a strong mind to forget the crap that happened in the past and to keep pushing forth man I'm gonna keep reading it says verse 14 I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of the most high in Hamashiach so we're trying to press towards that mark of salvation man you know for the price of our high calling because that's why 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 are we doing this in the first place man like even uh Peter Asked you how was shy, you know, in Matthew the 19th chapter, he said, We have forsaken all to follow thee. What shall we have therefore, you know? And hey, that was a good spirit. That was a righteous spirit that Peter was in. That's a that's a good question, man. Because brothers sometimes just are in this thing and really don't know what they're uh what they in this thing for, man. You know, it should be for the, the price of our high calling, man, to be uh delivered when your shot comes back with those chariots, man to receive dominion, honor, and governance in a kingdom, you know? That's why we go out and, and, and grind, man. That's why we're forsaking everything, man, you know, on this side. For something that is way beyond anything that we can really imagine, man, you know? The, the fight, the work, the effort, the grind, the toil, the sacrifice, is all gonna be worth it in the end, man, you know? So that, that's pretty much, I think, the point that I wanted to make you know, I think I'm gonna title this video, uh, just keep grinding or keep working. I can help us on the way, man. You know, our, our power, you know, Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, they haven't forgotten about us, man. But keep in mind that, you know, prophecy, the most high subject to his word. So things have to play out according to prophecy. There's certain prophecy that has to come to pass. But the hope and the build up and the faith is that we see it all happening, brothers. So with that, man, just keep fighting, man. Know that help is on the way. We gon' we gonna receive our inheritance, man. For brothers that sincerely pushing, man, the Lord got us, man. It ain't no need to be weary, man. If you feel yourself kind of getting weaker in the faith, hey, pray for strength, man. Get closer to the campfire. Be around brothers. Read and study more, man. Whatever you have to do, man, you know, to, to keep these demons off you and to stay renewed in the spirit to keep pushing. So with that, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to you, Akim. Keep pushing. Shalom.